I've been given a 3D connection mouse and the 3D connection space mouse as well. Now the space mouse I love, it's this dial and you can turn your view around, you can move up and down, you can walk into your object, you can fly over your object and you can do all kinds of cool stuff and it just needs a delicate hand. So if I move forward, I'm actually flying forward over my model and then I can push down on my space mouse and I can go down as well. And if I pull back, I'll start to rotate around. There it is, I'm, so I'm starting to bring my view back up the way that I want and then I can move forward again and you can move forward and you can also, as you're moving forward, you can also move up and down. Now I think this is really cool and I'm really starting to get a handle on it. It's taken me a little while, not complaining about that. It is a completely different mouse that I'm used to using. I'm used to using the old middle mouse wheel button and then fly around and go like this. Now it is taking me some while to get used to it because I've been using the other control middle mouse wheel button for probably 20 years. So it's a real task of trying to relearn the way that I do things. One of the things I found that really help is to go back to my settings and check the settings. Now this is the little, <laughs> this is something else I really love. This is the, the um, pop-up menu. It's called the radial menu. I've got one here. I've got another one that I've set up here. This is on my space mouse. And I've got another one here, which I haven't bothered to set up yet, but it's just got some simple things like cut, copy, paste, select all. I've also got some programmable buttons that I've set up as well. Now I do like this where you can just click here and I can say let's fit, it's my plan view, let's go to a pre-selected, I think I've saved this view already, so it's my saved view. I'm just going to go back to where I was before, so I'm just going to go back a view, previous view, previous view, let's just go back to where, there we are. Now the other thing, cool thing is that these buttons are all programmable, so I can go inside and I can program these buttons. Here are my settings for Vectorworks. Now you can set different settings for each different application you're working with. So this is my mouse and this is my space mouse wireless. And I can go to the buttons and I can choose what I want each button to do. So this will bring up my architecture. And this is common macros here. Or I can set this to be a keyboard shortcut. So for example, I could set this to be the X key, for example. And then every time I want to go back to my selection tool, I can just click on that button, it takes me back to my selection tool. Now I've actually got one of the other buttons already set for that. So I'm just going to go back to that and show you. So I don't like that. I'm going to go back and make that my common macros. Here we are. Here we can have macros. I've, I've added some here already. Add surface, clip surface and so on. We've also got the ability to have the radial menus and I've created some of these myself. So I've created a draw macro. Uh, utilities, an architecture menu, uh, you could set these up for landscaping for example where it picked up things like the plant tool and so on. So I'm going to choose that to be draw, let's close that. Now one thing I found that really helped out with this mouse is to go to the advanced settings and you'll notice that I've set these things to be very very delicate or very low settings here. I found that when the default is to have them in the middle and I didn't like that because it was just too quick for me and I was just flying all over the place and I really couldn't handle it. So I found that by setting these really low, this one here, that so this is the front and back, this is the up and down, by setting those low, I found it was much quicker and easier for me to work with. Now one of the things that would be really quite handy sometimes is when you go to the buttons to bring up the controls, so the 3D connection, bring up properties, uh, while you're getting this set up, it's much easier. So you can just go right click and it brings up the properties and then you can start to make adjustments. So that works really well if you do it that way. For my CAD mouse, so I've got views at the top, that's the button just up here. I've got my selection tool, that's really quick. I've got my architectural utilities for that button and I've swapped my left and right mouse buttons around because that's just the way that I like to work. So let's have a look now at my settings to make sure, because I've reset these a second ago. Just have a look at my advanced settings. So you can see there I've got all those nice settings and close. So this makes it really quick. So one of the things I love about this is that when I'm working, I can have a set of architectural utilities that I use quite a lot. Add surface, clip surface. These just pop up and they're really quick and I, the 
the techniques I use a lot. Click here, these are my views. This is a top view, a right view, an ISO view that I've set up. These are enter group, exit group, so I don't have to use my keyboard shortcuts. Now in the past I've taught people with a disability. I actually spoke to and taught somebody who had, was missing their left hand and it made it very difficult to use lots of the keyboard shortcuts. Now this would actually make it much easier because you could do things like you could set this up so that when you, when you push this button it brings up certain tools that you like to use. When you click this other button here, the one at the top, it brings up other views that you like. We've also got all those other ones that we can use here I can bring up different tools. You can see I've got the selection, constrain, wall tool. These are tools that I might use a lot. And then I've got uh, the button that I used. Let's just go back to my selection tool. Then I've got this button here, which brings up my space mouse and it gives me the ability to change those. Now I'll probably keep this going for a while until I had everything really sorted out. And then I would change this button here. So instead of opening the properties, it would do something else. Okay, so that's the settings for this. Do I like it? Sure I do. I like this a lot because I can start to move around. I can move forward. I can walk into my building. I can go down. And this is all with the space mouse. And I can walk through and I can go through this window. And I can turn around. I can turn my view. So I can turn the view. I can now walk backwards. All with the same, the same control. So yes, you're quite right. I've been given this to try it out. So I'm not being paid to, to do this, but they did give me a mouse to try out. And it's taken me a little while to get used to it. Uh, but I think I'm really starting to enjoy it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. It's called the 3D Connection Mouse. I'll just bring up their website to show you. So this is what I'm using. I'm using the Space Mouse Wireless. The whole idea of this is to improve your productivity. And in Vectorworks with the Windows machine, it is really cool and it's very delicate and you can walk around and I really have enjoyed using it. I'm like this, I've used it in my left hand rather than my right hand. And so I use a combination of the space mouse on the left hand and I'm using the CAD mouse on my right hand. So I'm actually using both this CAD mouse uh, while I'm using this one here, this compact one. It actually suits my hand really well. It is the smaller one. There is a bigger one uh, if you need one for bigger hands. So thanks for watching. I did have enjoyed using this.